back, everyone. Welcome back. And we haven't sold anything, and look at our money. Yeah, look at us. We're rich, rich. <laughs> so, uh, in the last episode, you were talking about, you know, Netflix and turning into, like, cable TV and stuff. What do you... What do you think about Steam? What do you mean? And, like, competitors to Steam. <laughs> Is there any? Uh, there's like <laughs> I guess origin. there's a couple, but... Um, oh and, and, and not so that bad. they're... You know, I agree. I completely agree. And I actually, it's funny when, like, any game sales or anything come up that I see on, like, any deals websites. The comment section is always filled with people who are like, oh, only on Steam. Screw that. I, like, avoid Steam like the plague. I personally love having Steam because I don't have to keep my games anywhere. I don't, I don't like buying things that aren't on Steam <coughs> because if right, I Right, the other day when you linked me... Uh how that Euro Truck Simulator wasn't on Steam, and I, I didn't buy it because of that reason. <laughs> I was uh, like, eh. Oh, what? I bought it from there, and yeah. it was Steam. Well, maybe maybe it linked to your Steam account, but, like, I went and looked on Steam, and it wasn't on sale on Steam, and, like, this wasn't it wasn't Steam's website that you linked me to. No, it was, it was like, like, it was like Green Man Gaming or something, but they sell Steam keys. Mm. You can buy Steam keys from way many places besides Steam. Yeah, no, but a lot of those are really shady, like GOG. Like, that's just a company that basically... Resell stolen keys. I'm trying to think of everybody. I've seen GOG before. I, Green Man Gaming is GMG. It's different. I'm pretty sure it's quite reputable because I bought a lot of shit from Green Man Gaming before. Um, I don't know if I've ever bought Might anything. Be. GMG. I don't know. But I love having it because of the fact that, you know, if my computer goes kaput, I literally reinstall it and then I can start reinstalling any game I have in my library. Yeah. It's like, it's that yeah, yeah, simple. Yeah. But there's a lot of people who are completely against the concept of things like Steam. I still neglect... Why? I don't know. I don't know. I think they don't want people prying into their personal life and knowing, you know, maybe what games they play on a regular basis or something. I have no idea. Um, but I honestly don't quite understand how Steam itself necessarily makes money. Oh, they charge... Uh, I mean, they get a portion of every sale. Even for if you buy it from a website that's not Steam? Well, yeah, because that, like, if you're buying it from a website that's not Steam, that's a Steam key that's already sold. Okay. I guess that makes sense. And so they get a portion of every sale that's out there. So yeah. they're literally just a, we house your games for you. Right. And of course, Valve makes some games too. Like CSGO. Right. Before Half -Life. that, Half Life. That was why, that's oh. the first reason I ever had a, a Steam account was for Half Life. Yeah, see, I didn't have a Steam account until I was already making YouTube videos before I even had a Steam account. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Minecraft yeah. was one of the few non Steam games that I ever played. Not that I ever played, but in. At that point in my life, it had been a long time since I played any non Steam games. Yeah, I always wonder, like, the the group, like, Origin that's out there. And, like, uh, Grand Theft Auto, what do they run through? Is it Origin? Or is it a different one? Uh, no, Grand Theft Auto is on Steam. I thought Grand Theft Auto didn't start out on Steam. GTA V. I thought it started out on something else, and it didn't have well, it was Steam. Well, it was a console game before it went to PC. When it went to PC, it was on Steam. Maybe it's a different game I'm thinking of, then. Either way, I like Steam. Was what the point yeah, I was trying to I, make was. I, I can't imagine any valid argument against Steam. Because, like you said, I mean, I mean, especially now, with like a lot of the games using Steam Cloud too. So even if even if you, you know, not only do you have your game, but you have your save files for your game. I will tell you that I would never buy a Steam box, though. Oh no, those are kind of dumb. It's kind of it's basically like a mini computer to just have as like quote unquote console somewhere. But yeah, I couldn't. Yeah. I just build yeah. a small computer. Do the same thing. Right. That's exactly what it is. It's kind of a gimmick, really. I mean, there's like there's the VR boxes too. Same the same gimmick. VR boxes. Yeah, it's a little tiny computer that is VR ready. 
Oh, I didn't know they even made those. Don't those need like specific graphics cards? Yeah, yeah, it's a little box that's got the, the right graphics cards that you would need for. So they're basically Bitcoin mining machines made for VR? <laughs> So, we yes. talked about so we talked about we never actually brought it up in the video the uh, the fork that happened with bitcoins. Right? Was that all? Was that not in the video? No, we talked about it, and then I went to research it before we recorded the next episode, so that I would at least have some knowledge about it. And then we talked about other shit. And we never brought up the bitcoin. Oh, okay. Apparently, it's not doing too well. Oh, um, I read an article that said the exact opposite today. Well, see, I saw a bunch of gifts. This is my knowledge on, on on how well it's doing. I read I read about how the fork worked, which I I I did not understand before. Basically, it's like we have all this transaction history. Now we're going to pick up the same uh, a new currency, a new founded currency, with some different underlying settings on how on how the the, the bitcoins are generated and and how big they are and all this stuff. Um, but it's its own new currency. Like Bitcash is like its own thing. It's not related to Bitcoin anymore. It's forked off and now it's its own entity. But its origins are from all the other Bitcoin transactions. If that makes any sense at all. Okay. How do you get um, more but of them? The same way, but differently. Like now, like it's like the size of that. The size of something. <laughs> Is different. Like I know the, that they made them like they made them eight megs instead of yes. instead of what what one, what was it one or two before? I don't, I don't know what they were before, but now so I guess like they in the end there could be more of them than instead of it like running out as soon as it's going to it'll there'll be more. But they how? Run out. I, I still like this concept still is so confusing to me. How is there just more? How did they invent a currency that had currency out there to go get? I don't know. I, I wish I did. I don't know. This is... The, it makes me feel stupid. Because I feel like this is something I could understand if, if, if someone explained it to me. But I don't... It's kind of like it's kind of like learn a class. Like I, I, I don't feel like this is something that could be self-taught. I need someone to explain it to me once. So I can understand it. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. I know what you mean. I've watched so many YouTube videos to understand how mining works. Because I finally understand about the whole blockchain and how the transaction records are kept. I get that about the Bitcoins themselves now from watching all these videos. But I still could never grasp how the mining part works. And the mining part works based on something with dealing with... Uh, basically, you're using your processing power and your computer power or your graphics power or whatever to run the transactions for the community. And somehow that earns you... Like, you're doing all these complex calculations they keep talking about. You have your right. computer do these complex calculations. That's why you have to get with a, a group of people who do it in the, um, um, I can't remember what they called it, the groups, when you jump together and and all do it together. I don't, I don't remember what it's called. But you have to do that because the, comp, the, the algorithms are so complex that you wouldn't really be able to do it with your own processing power anymore like you could at the beginning of the, of the, the Bitcoin. How that somehow earns you money is where I'm lost. Well, uh, it, it doesn't unless you actually mine a coin. Yeah, but wh where was this coin to be mined? Like, how did the whole concept of things are somewhere that need to get mined, how did that work? I guess based on how much of how much your processor is used, um, uh, eventually... Um, like, like you earn, you earn, like, it's like, I, I don't know. I don't know. This is just speculation. So I don't know. Um, but I'm assuming that like, basically you're earning, you're earning credit, like time served, uh, for, for every bit of processing you do. And once you've done enough based on however many Bitcoins are already, have already been mined and all this, then eventually you get, you get one because you've, you've, you've done your time basically. <laughs> it's like jail. It is. It's, it's, it's. I mean, I'm sure that's how the video cards feel. That's probably true. That is how the video cards feel. They like. I mean, can you imagine being a video? I mean, you probably can't because they, they don't really have a brain. But uh, if you could be a video card, um, you you would you would imagine you're going to spend your day playing great video games. 
And then you find out, no, you're going down into the mines. Well, and that's like another thing that I don't get about it is right when Bitcoin mining was in its heyday, which I guess for some people it still might be. Um, but when it was in its like super heyday, they found out the GPUs could process way faster than the CPUs. So they were building these machines that were basically you could buy specific motherboards that housed like eight video cards on one motherboard. And it was specifically yeah. for the purpose of being like a Bitcoin miner. Why does it need to be a video card? How could they not just invent a board that was filled with GPUs, like just the GPU processor and a cooling system like on it? I mean, I'm surprised no one has built a, a mining machine the, like like uh, something made just for mining like it is kind of surprising well i mean but they have but they're basically just set up to be able to take in a bunch of these video cards that proved to be the ones that worked very well for the mining process so right what are... i'm saying is i'm surprised no one has built a board that doesn't even have other cards like it's just like its own like soldered together tech that's meant for mining yeah that's the thing that makes perfect sense to me for a company to have done and i don't understand why they didn't and it's really weird because it, it was it the ATI cards that were the best ones for it. Like the ATI market got they, they ATI made so much money because of Bitcoin because there was such a demand for those cards. And it's crazy to think that you just happen to be this company that happened to have the product that worked for this other thing that people were jumping onto and you just like your company probably just blew up. Right. Well, imagine being one of the people that got in early and they have, you know, a lot of bitcoins. <laughs> There's that the story of a guy who like was mining on his laptop when he uh, when Bitcoin just came out, like just personally a laptop in the corner of the room that he was mining. And this is when bitcoins were almost worthless as well. And then uh, I guess his the, the story goes that his girlfriend got mad at him for having the machine mining all the time because it was on, it was loud, it was, you know, it was it would heat up the room because it was working hard. So he stopped it and eventually moved a couple places and threw that laptop away. And I guess yeah. it, he had like 3 million Bitcoins. That's a lot. And yeah, I, I've heard that there's people like that where like they threw away a hard drive filled with or whatever. Yeah. How real those stories are there? Yeah, I don't know. It, it could just be those stories that they tell you to basically try to get people to keep mining. Like, and what's in it for the the creator of Bitcoin? Well, no one even knows who that is. Uh, no, I think but he has. No, I think there's a guy. I think it's like attributed to a specific mm -hmm. person. No one knows. It's attributed no to a, one a, a, knows. But I'm telling you, they don't. No one knows who actually made it. Like, oh, it's attributed oh to uh, an online screen name. Um, and uh, and they hold a certain coin, <laughs> and they and they hold a certain number of them, and they've never Satoshi moved. Satoshi Nakamoto. <laughs> right, that's what they people say, but they did, there's no proof. I'm not sure that there's no proof. There isn't. I I I. I... This is the one thing I do know for sure that I'm certain that there's that no one knows for sure who actually holds the original X amount of bitcoins, and there's always a speculation of like if they if they ever see any activity with the with those 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 early bitcoins in the blockchain, then like it's gonna like ruin everything, and what? like the Why? whole thing's gonna Why crash would... because it would really... show instability in the whole thing, is what I read. Again, I oh yeah, I guess you're right. It might have been an unknown programmer or group of programmers under the name Satoshi Nakamoto. Yeah. Do you think they just have a shit ton of bitcoins that they're supposedly they do? And then then this is something that people can see. Like again, I don't know how this shit works, but this is something they can that be that the, the people who have bitcoins can see. Uh, they have X amount, and it's it's known that they own this X amount. And again, it's also said that if there's ever any activity with those that X amount then it's going to cause a crash in the market. I wonder why would it, why would it cause a crash in the market? Because it was show, show instability in Bitcoin. How is that instability by utilizing Bitcoin that you have? I don't know. I don't understand any of this. How how are we two computer guys? I feel a relative. Maybe smart. we're idiots. We're also old. I don't understand Tumblr. You don't understand Reddit. I mean, I understand it. I just I don't understand why it's popular. That's the thing, is, I guess that is a sign of being, like, crotchety old yeah, people. Yeah. 
This is how it happens. There's going to be music that we don't get either. No, never. <laughs> it's going to happen, Jeff. Never. Taylor who? <laughs> Taylor who? <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't understand Miley Cyrus, actually. You mean like Anna Montana? Yeah, but have you seen the stuff she does with dicks on stage? Uh, I, I've seen the twerking. Oh, the, so you haven't seen the giant dildos that she wears? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Look up my... Well, eh, you know, maybe you should. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> She wears yeah. giant dicks. Yeah, there's definitely concepts that I, I will admit as an older person don't understand why they're popular concepts. I, I I'll be I don't understand the hipster movement. Uh what do you mean? I mean like the why bring back like it, it's it's so funny I was just telling a buddy of mine about this. I was talking to him from Michigan. We were talking about beers and brewing beer and we started talking about like cheap beer, Miller Lite, Bud Light and he threw out there or you could go like even cheaper and get the the good old Paps Blue Ribbon and I was like that that's not how it works in DC. PBR is a hipster beer in DC, and it's highly, it's priced highly because of that. It's like that everywhere, I thought. Uh, in Michigan, it's, when I left Michigan, it was like the cheap bottom of the barrel beer that you would find at like Dollar Venture Night somewhere. Um, huh. I personally like PBR. I think it's good, but it somehow turned into a hipster beer, and like I don't get yeah. that. I don't get skinny jeans. I just. Why do you want to shove yourself into jeans that you can't like move around inappropriately? I don't get it. But I think these are just more like this is more like a fashion thing. I mean, I wore Jinkos at one point. I don't. I can't tell you why. But I honestly, understand. I guess I can. I just I thought I thought it would piss off adults. <laughs> you think that's what skinny jeans are for? It might be. Who it knows? Or they might think adults. that, uh, or they might think that it's more likely to get laid if you can see everything. I just I. Why? Why do you want to wear something that it hurts so bad to wear? Why? Are you right? I, I can't do. It. I'm trying to think what what's another like major hipster trend off the top of my head. Like fedoras, whatever you can wear those. I don't have any problem with a like wearing a fedora or wearing you know. Go. My, we used to make fun of my one buddy all the time for this, but whatever. I kind of get this one now. He used to wear glasses. Um, with lenses that were not prescription lenses because he just wanted... Okay, you get it? Explain that to me. Why would you ever do that? Some people just like the look and the style of wearing glasses. I mean, that's the thing, is if you have a prescription for glasses and have to wear glasses, what do you do? You get a style that you like and you want to be known as that style. So some people who don't have to wear glasses miss out on that quote-unquote opportunity. So right. I get it. I used to make fun of him for it all the time because I didn't understand it then. But now I, I can I open my mind up a little bit more and I can understand okay, he never had to wear glasses. He's blessed or he's he's uh, unfortunate, so unfortunate to have good eyesight that, you know, he never had that <laughs> opportunity to wear glasses. No, I would not understand it if you wore contact lenses and then put fake glasses on in front of it. Then I be a little confused because that just seems weirdly what do you think about the contact lenses that change your eye color oh ah, whatever i think but eye color is something that people like let's be honest brown eyes are like the standard and boring that's are it, they the standard is that the most common i think so that's something really? i'm actually gonna look up right now well, i think know, so I think because, because race, well because too. every other color like brown is dominant genes whereas like blue and green are recessive Mm -hmm. So I would guess so. Um, I think brown is more common in some other races too. So I bet it is like over overall yeah. human population. I guess brown is probably the most common. So brown is the most common. Then hazel. Then blue. Then green. Then silver. Then amber. According to this like huh. random website I just pulled up. I have, um, I have hazel. What do you have? Blue. I'm very blessed to have these. Oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. I knew that. Yeah, these these quite deep blue eyes, which my son you have blonde hair too, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I know. I'm like you're, wow, you know, you? white supremacy guy or something like that. Um, <laughs> uh, did you vote for Trump? Uh, of course. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Um, no, uh, absolutely not. Just being silly. But he, uh, or but but you know, my son got blessed with like the deep blue eyes, and that's like one of the things that people look at him and they're like, "Oh my god, his eyes are amazing." So I get that because it's, it's weird how eye color changes, though, isn't it? Like I had blue eyes when I was a little kid and blonde hair. 
Wait, I don't have one. But now, but now they're like green. So maybe you just look yeah. at the tints differently. No, no. Look at if you look at the pictures of me as a kid, they're these light, the lightest blue you've ever seen. Really? That is kind of weird. Yeah. I didn't know that. I yeah. I do know that eyes will change color from birth to like. I think pretty much all kids are born with blue eyes, they say, and then it takes a couple really? weeks before the the real color pigments start to fill in, or whatever color they're going to be. No, this is like I don't know how true like that is though. Old. Yeah, who knows? Maybe my son will end up with brown eyes in a couple of years. Uh, I don't know if it goes that far though. I think it's more like because like yeah, like mine's like hazel now, or like depends on what I'm wearing. It's green or different, <laughs> different shades of green. Basically. Do you not like people changing their eye color? Oh, I don't really care at all. I was just, it's just something to talk about. I mean, it, it's kind of like like tanning. Oh, well, it's like changing your skin color, right? Yeah, but that's, uh, I mean, it's. I think it's different because tanning can, you know, it can hurt your body. Like, I, I think tanning's bad. Okay, you look at it. I mean, I, think, I do think whenever you have skin color, like from the sun and stuff, it looks better. I think you look more healthy and stuff, but it isn't good for you, right? I think too much is not good for you. I think some is okay. Because, I mean, so your vitamin D production right. is kicked off by, you know, you know the, the sunlight and everything. So you need some. But, yeah, the people who – God, I remember when in my high school tanning was, like, this huge thing. Like, I don't know if it was relatively new or there was pop-up tanning shops everywhere, which don't exist nearly that much anymore. But – people would take it to the extreme and tan like every single day and look basically like they had black skin and right. i'm just like you know that's it's a little excessive to be going from your, your pasty white complexion to you know <laughs> you physically look like you're a different race right now because of how much you have tanned um and i never personally liked when people just went overboard and excessive i didn't think it necessarily looked good yeah I also never tan because I'm one of those people who would die in a tanning bed. <laughs> you know, I live in Texas, man. That basically looked like what you're talking about, but it wasn't from tanning. It was just from playing outside. And... Being outside all the time. Yeah. I mean, I guess that can happen to people, uh, and I wouldn't think of that as bad because they're not doing it for, you know, the purpose of doing it. You know, it was just natural that it happened. But like me, I'm one of those people who I go outside and it's like, in the summer, I always carry sunscreen with me because I will die. So, um, off topic, I, I remembered about something today. I was driving over a bridge that uh, uh, my dad told me a story about whatever. He was a cop. He um, he came over this bridge here near, nearby here and uh, there was this couple and uh, they were all heartbroken and crying and stuff. And my dad was convinced that, because um, you could tell the woman had been recently pregnant, but she wasn't anymore. Um, he was convinced that they had thrown their child off the bridge, basically get rid of the baby. He couldn't take care of it. Um, but he didn't have any way of proving it. My dad was a police officer. Um, so just to, I guess, put, the, put that in context. Um, so there wasn't anything he could really do, do about it. And so, you know, they, they went upon their way. What were you going to say? I, so wait, I, how did he get involved in this in the first place? I mean, he was he was He was, he was it was nighttime. He was on. She was on shift, like third shift, and he's driving down, you know, just patrolling basically, and uh, comes up over the bridge. And there's these people walking on the bridge, and so he basically stops. And he's like, "What's going on?" And then they're all like, man and woman, and they're all heart, and like the woman's just crying and heartbroken, and and so he was convinced that that they had just tossed their child basically. Okay. So I was thinking about it. Um, I don't know that I would even try to arrest these people. I mean, I think that it's. I think I feel like, like no matter who's hearing this, they're gonna think I'm a terrible person. But I feel like if you go to the point where you're, you can't. I mean, I think that they should have taken the kid and it should have been adopted or whatever, right? But obviously that's the decision they made with their child, and I think that's a terrible decision, a heartless, horrible decision. But um, I don't think that it would be worth sending them to prison now because of that. Does, does that make me a bad person? <laughs> My gut tells me yes. Um, yeah, I mean, see, I thought so too. Like, was it? Wait, was this ever proven that they did? No, 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 no. That, that, that's the end of the story. That I've told you the whole story now. He thought that they threw their baby. Had no way of proving it. Um, did they even have a baby? Like, did he even know this? Did he? Well, you, he said you could tell that the woman had been recently pregnant. That was all. That's the whole story. So, are you saying in that situation he shouldn't have arrested them because there was nothing to prove, or even if he knew that they did, 
Well, if he had seen them do it, then sure. Like, if you see them do it, basically, I was thinking about it today, kind of like you're probably thinking about it now. Why didn't he pursue it? But I guess he didn't have probable cause to pursue it. Right. And, know these and people that, that they hadn't broken a they haven't broken a law. Like there wasn't any way to pursue that. Right. Further. And he was completely basing on speculation. What it sounds like. He just saw an upset yes. couple who she used to be pregnant, and he instantly jumped to, I think they threw their baby over a bridge, and I don't even know if they have a baby. Right, because where, the, where this bridge is at, there's it's not there's no reason to be walking there. Like, there's nothing on e – there's no town on either side that's close by to be walking somewhere. Like, why were they out on this bridge over the Cape Fear River in the middle of the night, and why is she crying? Like – it like I guess that was the only conclusion he could come up with as to why all of these other things were, were, were happening. Yeah, I mean, I get why he didn't do it right then. If he knew, though, like oh, if I think I think I think if he saw them do it or anything like that, I totally yeah, you arrest them. But I feel like that they've gone through enough at that point that they're not that that they, their lives are already ruined. I guess, and by putting them in jail doesn't serve any purpose. You know, again, if they if if they were seen in the act for sure, throw them throw them away. But what I guess if we didn't even see it, but like two weeks later, they report a miss their missing child. Then, yeah, then, yeah. I mean, then he comes forward and says, well, you know, I saw them this night on the bridge, blah, 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 blah. Sure. Yeah. So, but, but I don't, I don't get what you're, I guess, I guess I, I today when I was in the car thinking about all of this, as I crossed this bridge, I wondered why he didn't pursue it. And then I decided, well, maybe he decided they had already been through enough. I'm I'm not thinking that that's why I completely can understand the didn't pursue it because you have no proof of that they even have a child for one what a random right, thing I, to start bringing up without anything except for a hunch that to be like hey, by the way do you uh, have a baby and where is it right now did you throw it off that bridge you know type of deal <laughs> it's a, it's a little um if I remember right too they had a baby blanket but just a baby blanket. Such a like a, a sad possibility of a story. I, oh, I know it's terrible. It, it's extremely terrible in every way. Like I mean, I can't imagine being in that position where you decide that's what you're going to do. I mean, like there's. I remember hearing about ba babies being microwaved, and like when I was a kid, and I'm and I wonder about that if that was like a real thing that actually happened, or if it was like the razor blades and the apples on Halloween. Like, did, did parents really microwave babies as a way to, to get rid of their baby? Or is that just a wives' tale? I mean, I would hope it's a wives' tale because what I can completely, what I would understand a little bit more—not that they would make it any better—but is if something happened and the baby died somehow, like accidentally, and they are trying to like—that's something I consider too, right? It's like stillbirth, but they didn't want, and maybe they were drug addicts, and they so they maybe maybe the stillbirth could have been avoided. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they, ne they neglected their parental responsibilities. And so they're trying to dispose of the body by throwing it in the river. Like, it wasn't a live baby, but, yeah. I don't know. Uh, have you ever... I don't know why I brought all this up. I just <laughs> thought about it today, and I was curious. I was like, man, I guess I'm a terrible person for thinking that that the, the situation's a shitty situation no matter how you look at it. Have you ever read <sighs> the... I don't know if it was a, a book or just a paper, uh, but something called A Modest Proposal? Hmm. No. It, it was like this satire piece that got published back, um, I think it was to do with China and the overpopulation problem. And I think some people ended up taking it like seriously or something like that. I remember reading it in English literature class. But this guy basically is writing this novel and it's all about how to control the overpopulation problem with his proposal of, and it goes through and describes the different body parts and how you would cook them to eat the extra babies. Jesus Christ. It's like completely a satire piece and it's really disgusting but also humorous because it's a satire piece. Yeah. But most people I ask had never heard of it and I think that'd be something you'd enjoy reading. And maybe <laughs> ever. Well, it's so crazy to me that during the Depression how many kids did get eaten. They did? I didn't know that. Oh yeah. Like, I've read so many things about in like big cities and stuff you could get meat and it was often the case that this meat wasn't from an animal it's from people uh, but people are animals didn't we already talk about okay this? <laughs> uh, so they were vegans <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> 
Right. I just flipped over the tractor because I was trying to spin circles and I just. It just tipped. It goes, well, kind of what I see. So there's this Reddit post. <laughs> just like behind me. It's just a <laughs> well, it shows a, uh, um, I guess it was following a Twitter, it was two pictures back to back following like a Twitter page of, I guess there was a suspected like bomb somewhere and they sent out the bomb robot and it's like, it looks like they're deploying oh, the, bomb, yeah. the bomb robot and then the next one it's like on its side <laughs> and it's like the bomb, ro- bomb robot ran into a problem like, <laughs> oh that picture really made me laugh. It was it was pretty dumb too, but can you imagine if you were reporting on that or if you were driving a bomb robot? It's this de- delicate machinery meant to go try to like disarm a bomb, and it's just like whoop. Well, yeah. <laughs> foiled again. <laughs> uh, can you imagine driving the Mars rover and it and like uh, and actually like, like driving it off a cliff? You're yeah, right, right, right. Didn't that thing like? Didn't that thing years ago? Because it's way outlasted what it was ever supposed to. Right. Well, it broke do. down. Like one of them hasn't moved. One of them. One of them we missed because we calculated with meters instead of whatever or whatever. We, we fucked one of them up, and then one of them broke down and doesn't move. Right. Well, no. I thought one of them broke down and didn't move for a very long time, and then one day started working again. It may have. I thought that was the one that they were still using, but maybe I'm That's wrong. Curiosity, uh, right? Is um, that the one that... I don't... Well, Curiosity Rover, I think, is the one that's still going, but I don't know if it's, that, if it's actually the one that broke down and stopped working. Because I remember it maybe being like they were... Cause, cause I think it broke down before its life cycle was supposed to end, and they were like all upset that it didn't last for nearly as long as it was supposed to. And then like one day, they, they were like, oh my god, this thing's... It's like back online randomly. That's so weird. Martians repaired it. I mean, it's possible. How cool would that? What be? happened to that uh, that one thing we landed on the uh, asteroid? Uh, probably crashed into Earth, and then they made a movie about it with Bruce Willis. Or a comet one. It, we landed something on a something. It was an asteroid or a comet. Oh, something on something, huh? Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Bruce Willis was there. Yeah, he was there along with uh, Ben Affleck. It's crazy. Aerosmith saying about it. I really wonder, though, like, they state that we're not going to ever run into a situation like that, at least for, like, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Like um, what? This is like, like, a, like a big asteroid, like, being oh, on the trajectory right, right. to Earth. Do they say that? Yeah, and I thought that. I've, I've read that before, and, that, and that's what makes me wonder, like, how the fuck do they know hundreds of years from now? No, I don't think they say that, Jeff. I think we're always looking for that, and that it's really hard to, that like, that even as hard as we look, it's still possible to miss. Because there, there, there's, there's, there's a couple that are coming real, real, real close. Um, and then, and, it, and something could happen that, like, it's within, it's within scary distance. There's a couple that it's I know about. It's within scary distance. Yeah, 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 that's the official technical term that they use. Because I, this I, isn't I, a, ooh, I honestly <laughs> feel super lucky that the earth has lasted this long without getting hit and granted you know there's you know theories about that's what you know you know made the dinosaurs go extinct etc cetera, etc cetera. but still even if that was the case how many millions of years ago was that right i don't think i think that's pretty much proven at this point right uh, that's what the big bang the theory is proven so we got just one like the pulled surprise about 4 or 5 years ago by basically reinforcing the big bang theory which How'd is, they do that? I don't remember. I didn't read the thing. I just read the news. Are you sure you're not just thinking about the comedy? Yes. Yes. It was, <laughs> it was actually the Fairnick ladies show. who uh, who you know, <laughs> wrote a song that reinforced the Big Bang Theory. It was all done from there. No, it was it actually yeah, it happened like four or five years ago. I just don't remember exactly what he did. I, I don't know if he did some measurements of particles and was able to like carbon date them back to coincide with what the concepts of the big bang theory are i really have no idea but i never heard anything about um being proven that the the comet is what actually came in and killed the dinosaurs but it's it's possible um didn't jupiter get hit by something like 15 or 20 years ago like a huge asteroid that would have completely obliterated earth i don't know 
Yeah, I thought Jupiter got nailed by something. I mean, it's weird how much stuff we forget too. <laughs> Honestly, like stuff that doesn't doesn't really affect us, like, and you just forget about it. I'm actually <laughs> surprised if something that big went into Jupiter, how that wouldn't affect us. Because you'd think if it could pull off, if Jupiter got a big chunk blown out of it and it like changed Jupiter's orbit, wouldn't that right. change the orbit of things like around it because it's got such a heavy mass and. Yeah, I mean, I've often wondered about that exactly. Like, so things are things are from outer space are constantly hitting the moon. Shouldn't that change the moon's mass? Yeah, you think? Unless the Earth were flat. Well, maybe that's it, really. It could be. I mean, it's kind of crazy to think that the moon is slowly drifting away from us. Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's not very fast. It's like 56,000 years before it, uh... Before be, it's gone? Before, yeah, far enough to matter. But, I mean, if the moon actually went away, like, what would the nights be like? I think we'd be more worried about what the ocean was like. Oceans would be... maybe affected? I don't know if they've ever <laughs> maybe. actually... Well, I don't know if they've ever actually proven... I think it used to be accepted science that now they're questioning on if the moon really does have an effect on the tides. I will call bullshit. That the moon has an effect on the tides? Okay. No, that, that it doesn't. I mean... So, if the moon does have an effect on the tides, this whole, like, full moon affecting the tides more, what the fuck does that matter? Like, what? why does the cycle of the moon, why would that change anything? Because it's still there. It's still in the same spot. It's still the same distance. I don't think this, I don't know that it's the cycle of the moon, but I guess, again, that's like, that depends on, like, its place in the from from everything like the reason why the shadow is different on the moon and the moon looks different is because of where everything is situated but why i guess the the moon is always in the same place in relation to the earth it's just you know different sides of it per se why would the tides change so much why do they fluctuate so frequently if that was the moon but they fluctuate consistently with with the placement of the moon. Do they? Like Yeah. That's how we that's how why we can predict when the tide's gonna be at its highest point and all of these things. Is all because of the moon? Yeah. See, I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah. The earth is flat. I know, and if the earth is flat then the moon ain't gonna have any control over these tides. <laughs> So if the Earth is flat, do they do? Are other planets flat as well? Do other planets even exist? That's a question you asked before, and I can't remember the answer because, like, there's something weird about the Moon too, and I don't remember what it was. What it's it was only like, working. yeah, it only runs on an arc. I I did some research on this stuff after we stopped recording last time because I was curious. And isn't the Sun just a light bulb? Or that's a different? That's no, a, that's it's a different person. No, the different Sun's person. there. It's just way smaller than like people like now think, and it in the moon and the way that they orbit each other um there's definitely an explanation that makes the eclipse and stuff make sense if you were going to take the leap to be a flat earth there's a way to say how the eclipse is going to happen with the theories that exist in there but how bad do you, do you have to work on the eclipse day uh is it a tuesday uh I know 21st i think it's a monday yeah, then yes monday. What work do you have to do? Is it yeah, the station or... Uh... If it's a Monday, both, actually. Mm. Are you worried? No. I mean, that planet's going to be coming in and crashing into us or something. <laughs> well, I mean, there's always lots of things that... I mean, have you guys been briefed on it or anything? No. Really? On, on what? What's like, to, uh, what to I was do reading of, earlier today. Are, like... Guys, this is our contingency plan in case the sun doesn't come back. No, but like I was reading earlier about like all the work that South Carolina's put into like uh, doubling staff and stuff because of all the accidents, just terrible things that always happen on um, whenever there's an eclipse. Uh, no, I didn't know there was a lot of terrible things that always happen. I guess we're not in the. I mean, we're not a place. 
cars in the middle of the street and shit. Right, but we're not going to be a place where people are specifically going to seek out the solar eclipse because it's not... But it's still going to be very visible where you are. Yeah, it'll be very visible where we're at. I don't know. I guess, no, we haven't really talked about it. And that'll be interesting because it's Monday. I'll be at the fire station. What time is the eclipse? Uh, it'll be around 3 o'clock. Okay, so I'll be actually... <laughs> I'll be one of those assholes stopping on the side of the road, probably. Um, because I'll be about to start driving to the fire station. Hmm. So I guess it'll be all over by the time I get to the fire station. Well, the whole thing lasts quite a while. Like the the to total eclipse for the people that are in the in the line it only lasts like three minutes. The total eclipse, but from start to finish, it's actually quite a quite a process. So yeah, no, we have not been briefed. I do want to know what we're gonna do huh. when the sun doesn't come back, though. Well, in South Carolina, whenever they were doing some of the briefings, some of the questions were brought up was like, does this affect black magic? Like, what are the what are some of the things that we can expect? Uh, well, well, I mean, of, of affect course, it affects the black magic. Um. In the county where uh, Lizard Man is um, supposed to to exist, it was they they put out reports that there might be increased sightings of Bigfoot and Lizard Man. Oh, I did see I did see them. that article. Yeah. And you guys haven't been briefed at all. I what know. if what if Bigfoot shows up? No one's know what to do. Yeah, especially not about this Narubu planet. Naruto? Ethan? Narubu isn't it, isn't that the. People think that the eclipse is actually just a cover-up because it's this Nerubi or Nerubu planet that's that hurtling toward Earth and going to destroy us all. And that's actually what it, the eclipse is. I didn't even know about this. It's yeah. a new theory. Oh, yeah. There, there's lots of crazy theories. Not I mean, lots of very sane, logical theories. Of course. <laughs> Everyone's a scientist, really. I mean, it makes sense to me. <laughs> Also, please do not vaccinate. You know, I hope that um, whenever they do cure aut autism, it requires a vaccination. <laughs> well, a vaccination wouldn't be a cure. I know. I know. I know. I. It's just a silly but thing to say. But so because... something to vaccinate against autism would be kind of, kind of comical in a not comical way. Right. Oops, we didn't. We yeah. never fertilize this field here. Let's just make all the anti-vaxxers hate us. But, you know, honestly, I mean, if you're I, an anti -vaxxer, I'm okay if the anti-vaxxers hate us. <laughs> yeah, I think you're... You should... I'm, in, I'm in the medical <laughs> profession. Yeah. I'm allowed, no, yeah. To, I'm allowed to have that standpoint. Yeah. No, I wasn't telling you to stop. I was telling the anti-vaxxers they should stop. Or they should start vaccinating. Actually, not I, stop. So. I did have somebody comment on the video that we talked about vaccines, actually. with something that, It made sense. It was logical. It made sense. He said he wasn't an anti-vaxxer. But he doesn't um, like the vaccines that are made with heavy metals in them because of the effect that heavy metals have on the body. So he vaccinates, but only with specific vaccinations, which that somebody who actually put some thought into it of why they are not wanting specific medications in their body that I, I respect a little bit more, but I still don't agree with it. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> <laughs> So well, with that, we're, yeah. we're out of time. With that, get Go your vaccines. See ya. Yeah, get flu shot. And uh, spay and neuter your pets. And don't throw babies out fridges. Yes, don't do that either. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.